couple of years ago, I actually wrote a letter about one employee in particular. I realized just really how hardworking she was and how special she was. She makes you feel like she cares about how your day is going. It just became more of a relationship than just a barista. And this one in particular is not like that just with me. She's basically like that with a lot of people. It is very infectious when you have somebody who basically cares. It really does rub off on everybody else. We go to Starbucks pretty much every day. It's sort of our special place because this is where we used to go for our dates. We've been together for almost 23 years and Starbucks is a huge part of that. People are welcoming and, and it's kind of nurturing. It's not just a cup of coffee, it's an atmosphere. It's memories, it's just conversation, it's about relationships. Starbucks is kind of like a second home. So the perfect Starbucks experience for me would be walking in. So I'm opening the door. I walk in the door. And there is an open seat, and it's the window seat, and the sun's coming in. I get a nice big smile from everybody who works here. Not only are you recognized, but you you feel valued. The barista asks me how my day is, and they tell me something about their day, and then we laugh. Not only am I just a face you remember, but you actually remember something about me. I come down here with other people. They have the names written on the cups basically before we even get to the cast. When they know you and they already have your drink put aside, I love that. <laughs> you feel pretty special, like, you know, somebody crowned you queen for the day or something, right? You get that perfect first sip. This is just the way I like it. And just spending hours and observing how everybody is interacting. And when I leave, uh, the barista says, bye, Milan. And I say, bye, insert barista's name. This is a chance to, to really engage. And, and when you have that, it's beautiful. But not every Starbucks has that. So there's actually a Starbucks that's closer to me. And I come here because it's more comfortable. I'm known here. The other Starbucks, I go there plenty, but nobody ever seems to recognize me. You know, sometimes there's somebody not as outgoing as some of the other ones, and they just keep their head down and they don't really pay attention. It's when, like, there's a really long line and you've been waiting for a long time and you finally get your drink and it's not what you expected, there's a little bit of disappointment there. Well, I start to feel a bit silly that perhaps I'm not ordering it the right way. Getting my name wrong at the bar. Uh, my name's Dave, it's a pretty generic name. I think for me it's biggest thing, which is the most difficult thing, is just to treat every customer like they're so special. I may be your 100th customer, but you're my first barista. If I walk into the store and they're um, a little hesitant to create conversation, I'll go sit at the library instead of sitting down and doing my homework here. And when they do smile, I do grab a seat and I, I do come back and I, I sit and I do my work. I guess that experience in, in that sense is sometimes uh, what draws me to stay. Why did you come to Starbucks? When I come to this location, they, d they made an effort to get to know me. And there was this new girl, I hadn't seen her before, and she says, how do you say your name? So I told her. The next day I came in, she greeted me by name. So I, I, I thought it was a really special touch. They love working here, I love coming here. It's a really nice feeling to feel that connection. I've gotten to know people here. We would engage more as people. Well, they want to know us, we want to know them. I say valuable, like I matter. When I walk in, it's like they know me. You feel at home. It's kind of sad, actually, when some of them leave or go to another store. It hurts in a way because you get you do get to know them over the years. But one of the baristas was there, and I observed this old guy came in, and she asked him where his wife was. What she didn't know is the wife had passed away, and, uh, and he started to tear up. And she came around and she gave him a big hug. And it was the nicest thing because he was, he obviously felt safe enough to share with that and to cry. And I, I just thought, that's a special barista. They know when somebody is authentic and when they're not. And I think you will find a way to connect with somebody because it's coming from your heart.